Yo, 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 yo. YouTube. Logic Gang, Logic Gang. Yeah, that's we. Just Divine, back with another tutorial. Um, today, I got something different in store. Something that I typically don't do. It's a remake uh, to Roddy Rich's The Box. This beat contains no samples. Uh, the only thing that this beat will not contain is the famous... Now I could have I could have recorded myself and you know tweaked it and tried to make it sound, but to make it you know as authentic as possible, I did not. I, I just decided not to um, because that was Roddy Rich's recording of him and his vocal, and I don't have that type of so I just didn't even want to bother with it. But without any further ado, first I'm gonna press play and I'm gonna just let you listen to it just to let you know. Again, this beat contains no. Samples. <laughs> As you see, there's the beat, no sample. So first thing that they did was they started with this uh, this orchestra sound. This is the sound that I used when I started the beat. Second, here's the pattern for the flute. It really is just a, it's a flute sound. Now, most of us, we would have just used the flute as a lead, but they chose to use this as a, uh, you know, uh, a chord progression. And to me, it sounds, it sounds really, really, really dope. Only thing I added was some RC-20. You know, so a little wobble that, you know, kind of detuned it a little bit and I gave it a little space. This is what that sounds like. <laughs> And from there, everything else was pretty much just, you know, rather simple. Um, the only thing that that kind of that I that I the only way I could replicate it was this um the 808 pattern. There's a section on the on the second hit where the uh where the 808 reverse. So the only thing I did was um I took the pattern, I bounced it in place um in this first note, which is the A sharp. I reversed it. So as it leads into the third note, this is what it, uh this is what it sound like. And from there, you know, pretty much the beat the beat is done. It's just a matter of um taking instrumentation out and and adding it back in, you know, it was a few sections where, where the flute pattern plays and then the, the, or, the orchestra sound plays and then both of them play at the same time for the hook. Um, it's a rather simple beat. And for me, um, my it, 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 I would say over the last, I would say over the last month or so, um, some of my dopest beats have been the beats that contain less elements. 
I'm finding um, ways to, you know, for, to fill in the space, whether it be um, using, like, reverbs, you know, because space is also an instrument. I, you know, I, I learned that from, from Timberland. You know, he said space is an instrument. And I thought about that, and, you know, we often try to complicate things and, you know, make things more than what it is because I want to be able to ride around and listen to, you know, my music as if, like, you know, as if, like, it was you know, an artist being, you know, showcased on it. But as a as a, as a producer and as a beat maker, we have to learn um, to, you know, leave space for the artist because ultimately they have, their, they have to add their element to it and they have to be just as much a part of the record as, you know, as we were. Um, and if we don't leave any space for them, then, uh, you know, they can't do, they can't showcase their talent. Um, so... Again, this was a, a rather simple beat. The hi hats was hi hats was simple, um, just a regular one two, and then a few. You know, uh, I think twenty four. Switch it to twenty four. Yeah, a couple uh, twenty four rolls, and that was it. I I stacked a clap. and the the I couldn't find this. I mean, I, I'm I'm certain that if I would have were to look. Long enough in my library, I can I can find a uh, an open hi hat that sound more like the one that they used in the um in the beat, but it it served its purpose. It only has it on it, it's only on the drop, and that's pretty much the beat. And the rest was uh on Roddy Rich. So um, after deconstructing this, um, I know I learned something. So if you want to see more things like this? You know, if I can come across a beat that's, you know, that's popping and I can kind of like deconstruct it and, you know, upload it, you know, for, for you know, obviously you can't do anything with it. I know the moment I upload this video, it's going to get flagged, but I'm not worried about that. So the purpose of the video is not the, you know, the, for any type of mon monetary gain or anything. It's for, it's for learning purposes. Um, again, the chord progressions were rather simple. Um, but... Nonetheless, this video is already longer than it should be. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, if you, you know, check, feel free to check out any of my other videos. My other videos where I show you things that I use in my workflow that kind of, uh, you know, give me my little, my little niche, my, you know, that my, my sound, things that I implement in my workflow. Maybe you can take those same techniques and kind of make them your own because that's pretty much all we do. We borrow from one another uh, you know, we put our little spin on it and then now it becomes ours. So, uh, check out any of my other videos. If, uh, you're not a subscriber, please, it, it helps the channel out tremendously. If you would just give us a like, it costs you nothing. Just hit that like button. Um, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. And remember, if it sounds good, it is good. Peace.